What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map, uh, playing as Zeus. He is currently named himself Eric BR the First. And I think there's a reason for this. I've heard a story about there being another Eric BR out there. Another Eric from Brazil. Who'd have thunk it? I thought that there was only one Eric from Brazil that could play an RTS game, but it turns out, I've heard in the Twitch chat, it could have been a rumor, it could have been malicious gossip, but it turns out that there were, there is another Eric BR out there, except he plays on Age of Empires 4. So there's Eric BR the first, and there's obviously Eric BR the second over at Age of Empires 4. Uh, he came he came second, so he gets the second one. We have the true proper hero here, knight in shining armor, the one you would want to save you from the castle that is guarded by the dragon. That is who you want. You don't want the second Eric. You want the first Eric every single time. But he's got quite the mission in front of him on this auspicious of occasions here because he is up against none other than the mighty dragon himself, Husk soup also known as a literally just a bowl of pumpkin soup but he is a a beautiful handsome bald man nonetheless playing as thor here in this uh map on this map savannah we've got a zeus versus thor matchup for you ladies and gentlemen this is a classic matchup from way back in the day i lo used to love this matchup uh, back in my early days when i was learning age of mythology playing zeus uh, I loved playing against Thor players because I would just blindly Athena rush every single game and win more games than I would lose uh, until I ran into good Thor players. But to be honest, back then, those th good Thor players were very, very difficult to find because Thor is a difficult god to play uh, when the meta is not developed for Thor. Anyways, onwards and upwards, we see early walls from soup. This is something that... I actually feel like I said was good a long time ago. I think that, especially with Thor, going for early walls with Thor uh, against, um, uh, basically, against everyone, why not? It doesn't slow you down. You're currently gathering gold from this gold mine. Like, you're going to be fine. Soup does it, and he's like, I'm just, yep, good. Let me throw these walls down. I'm going to wall up the whole map, and it's going to give me some time. It's going to give me some time in the middle of... It's going to give me some time in the classical edge. If you push through my walls, I can sneakily move in and put them back up again. Uh, and he's going to try and wall off a whole map here. It would seem, or at least portions of the map, and be okay here in this game. So very, very smart from Soup. Uh, and uh, even, even a little bit abusive, if you ask me. Uh, because walls, while they are meant to be built, building them forward because you're Norse, and you're really taking advantage of your unique civilization bonuses from the get-go. It would seem not only that, but Eric's scout here wants to go through and scout this, but he's not allowed to. He's been denied. You shall not pass. Gandalf the Grey once said, and Gandalf the White returned after said passing was not had. Onwards and upwards. All right, we'll see what uh what Eric's going to do. We are seeing Forsetti as the god of choice here from Soup, which I think is... I understand why he's going for Seti. He's going for Seti for the potential to have to deal with Centaur. And Eric is indeed going Hermes. So this turns out to be the correct choice. I think that Freya is technically better against um, against Athena. But uh, for Seti is definitely better against Hermes. And we'll see how this is all going to go as the ult suck comes over here. We'll start to wall this one up as well. And we also see another ult suck moving forward to potentially throw even more walls up. Only one villager on favor at this point here for Eric. So he gets the max amount of value out of his villager here, but he's going to get a lot less uh, a lot less a lot less favor otherwise. But he does pull another villager over here. How many villagers on wood? He's got three over here and he's got himself six over here. So that's nine villagers on wood. Lots of resources to come in. And he's, we'll see how he's going to do this. This is a really, really interesting thing to see how a, uh, how a Zeus main like Eric, what he's going to prioritize. I'm on the opinion that you build one centaur, you build one barracks first. We'll see if that's what he's going to do. He gets the centaur out. And you get your Odysseus out and you throw your barracks down. 
I don't see a barracks just yet, and he is not doing that, so he's probably looking to get an early Sylvan Law out. I don't think you need early Sylvan Law. I don't think that's important. You have Bolt for the enemy Valkyrie. The Centaur are fast enough to dodge uh, her, so, and you can get that Sylvan Law up just a little bit later. And instead, we're going to be seeing the Centaur move out with Sylvan Law. He's got the 25 out favor already, and he's going to click it up. So I think this is just some ordering issues. You can see how much food is in the bank in gold for Eric. So one of those small things that you might not think matters, but uh, it really, really helps in the early game to do things in the right order as more walls coming up over here for Super Z is trying to wall in this entirety of this map as we see the, uh, the center getting pushed back here. He does take one hit there. He did run away, but not far enough as Silver Nora is not quite through. He has to pull back. He can't. He could bolt this Ursa, but again, probably better to save it for a, fro a, 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 a Frost Giant. There are no... Uh, there are no uh, there are no Valkyries in this game because he went through four Seti, but you know that is what it is. As the Jason Odysseus trying to take down Pora Three Tail, and he's trying to get back and back into his base. As we see more Hersa getting built, and we will indeed see Hall of Fans coming through. Now Hall of Fans Hersa with Loki normally have five point seven two. I think I got that right. Five point seven two speed. Whereas the four Hall of Thanes uh, sir, are a lot slower. So we'll see exactly what they're going to be able to do here against these centaur that are going to be looking for some villages. The village is currently in the corner of the map. Th these are dangerous villages in the corner of the map, but I don't think that uh, super sorry Eric is going to think to uh, scout there. And there is this hunt all the way over the other side of the map that, uh, that Soup's going to want to go to as we see... The Hursa get a couple of hits over here. He does pick up a relic. It's the Pelt of Argus giving a plus six unit line of sight. Uh, and he'll take that back to his temple fairly soon here, it would seem. As the centaur wandering into the main base here of Soup. Soup does drop a, uh, a longhouse down to building block and prevent the centaur from getting into his base. Trying to, trying to throw up even more building blocks here. He throws up his wall segment or his long wall, but he's not able to... Block those centaur in, didn't get them all up in time, uh, but a nice try nonetheless from Soup here. Uh, as what are we seeing? Uh, I can't see what they had to say because the thing is up. We'll see if there's going to be more conversation or if that was just the temple, that was just the relic. Okay, centaur trying to make it through here, but the Hursa managed to get so many shots down onto the centaur. That was a big mistake from Eric to try and walk through there. He should kind of realize that Hall of Thanes has come through. So while he does have the speed advantage here, he's not going to be able to get any villager kills. And these centaur are relatively useless. He's losing one centaur, almost losing a second centaur here as the uh, Hursa try to get in onto this one as the centaur coming around this side. But there is a longhouse here as well. Another centaur, a couple more hits there. One more onto both of those centaur and they will get taken out here as uh, as we even see the villagers getting pulled here, does get one jab, one HP remaining, as this is a nightmare for Eric, who is going for a second town center himself behind all of this, as these guys are uh, talking up somewhat of a storm, but I don't care. Game time, and uh, maybe Soup thinks he might be able to go for another, another town center here, or, or something like that. Another centaur getting sniped there, as Soup is just too on it in this game with his Hursa. Uh, and Eric's got to retreat back with his tail between his legs. This is what this, this is one of the things that makes Soup so ridiculously good at this game. It's just, well, building blocking, micro, and just general game strategy. He's on such a high level and he's such a strong player. I absolutely love watching his games play. Uh, and, and we'll see if... Uh, these guys are going to be able to continue here in a, in a good way. We see some good farms getting placed by Soup, though his villagers are going to be doing it the slow way. There is a way to make these guys go to each farm immediately. Uh, and what you do is, uh, is you if there's one farm here and you have all the other farms built with the shift click, you can do that. Build one farm really, really quickly and then right click on that farm after it's up. Like click your villages and then you right click here and then all those villages will go to an individual farm each. Little known fact, little known factoid as the Hursa pushing forward. There's so much army here for Soup. He's got 88 population. A lot of this is 
Uh, all of this is her, sir. And not only that, there is another little known secret. I mean, it might not be a little known, but there's a reason why her, sir, in this matchup uh, are good beyond just being able to kill off those centaur. And that's that armory upgrades affect the Norse her, her sir, more than any other unit. It gives 15% bonus instead of 10%. So you're throwing down the armory, the dwarven armory here, which is just about to go up, and then you can get yourself copper mail, copper shields, copper weapons, and then those hers are even stronger than you would think. As the army here from Eric still trying to get a little bit done. Nice concave here or nice defensive position from uh, from Eric as he's pulling back. Uh, but the Santa are going to be looking for some villages. They can't, aren't really a big help in these fights here. As Eric has to kind of run all the way back to his home base here. He's trying to throw up some farms over here. We see a raiding cavalry coming over to try and take down the villages. Copper shields of Thor coming through here for soup as well. Like I said, going to be some very, very strong Hursa here in this game very, very shortly. One rogue troll going after the villages of Eric, who is losing some more uh, centaur here. Is, is they just have gotten no value in this game, to say the absolute very least. And there's a ceasefire forced by, uh, by Soup as he gets onto this army, casting ceasefire there. I opens up the floodgates for Soup to just go braggy here and just end the game or go for Scardi and get a huge amount of value with a uh, frost onto the opponent's economy because X got to play defensively here at this point. Not only that, we're going to be seeing a third town center going up. We're going to be seeing that uh, that mythic age coming through very, very shortly. And Soup rightly chooses Bragi. We're going to be seeing some fireworks, literal fireworks in this game. Well, not really. I mean, it's more like we're just going to be seeing fire in this game because flaming weapons is coming. We don't get to see Bragi too often. I would say that this is all in from Soup picking Bragi at this point because if he doesn't do enough damage with Bragi, then the Zeus player is going to be able to get Mythic Age and be able to utilize Colossus and Heliopolis with no good response. But I feel like Soup is so far ahead at this point that it's not going to matter. I, and, and the reason why Bragi is good here is that the damage he's going to be able to do is going to be out of this world huge. Not only that, he's still getting more upgrades. He's getting himself a medium infantry, medium cavalry, plow, hand axe. The farms are all up around this town center here. Uh, and Soup is still eating food or was eating food over here. He's now on the wood line as the army here for uh four soup is going to be making its way over here bragi does pop and then the units are going to make their way in onto this position and try and take out this town center with the flaming weapons coming in to take the villages off uh eric is attempting himself to get up to the heroic age here as his resources are starting to starting to get up here we will be seeing the flaming weapons get dropped very very shortly i would assume by soup there's the flaming weapons as the units trying to continue to take down this town center there's battle boards coming forward and we do see the first bolt or the only bolt getting used there onto that battle board so that the toxodes can defend this one might one would think that flaming weapons here not as good as frost as the toxody actually able to hold very very nicely against this push that uh soup is trying to make work here and then not only that but eric can garrison into his town center nice micro here from eric as the uh odysseus is going to jump onto the battle board as well he's got a jason going to get queued up you know, seeing him uh drop his units in and out keeping them nice and safe from the battle board and soups push here did it do enough damage is the question eric is at 83 pop soup is at 110 pop all Eric needs to do now is play defensively and get to the Mythic Age. If he can do that, he's going to be in a fantastic position. The Jason here to take down the Battle Ball. The Villagers should be used to take de to uh, repair the Town Center to make sure he doesn't lose that one to the Battle Ball. He does have himself his third Town Center over here. Irrigation coming through for Soup as he is down on population count, but still... Still very, very interesting game here. Soup's got a follow-up that is possible. He's making himself a hill fort to make those much-needed Huskal. But he's got a follow-up in the form of Battle Boar. Uh, and Battle Boar are really, really good at this stage of the game because the Zeus player has only got access to two heroes. So if he picks off, say, just the, the Jason, which is relatively easy to pick off, it's a big DPS uh, that, he can, that he can do, then 
things are great there. And we can see the battle, the battle ball coming back onto the healing spring. They're going to be here for a very, very long time. They heal. What is the, the healing spring is, what does it heal at? Three HP a second. Oof. Oof. Do the math for me. Three HP a second in... A uh, hundred seconds, you get 300 HP. So in 200 seconds, this ball will be healed. So that's a lot of population just sitting here idle, healing all of these guys up. And he still has to wait 300 seconds, which is something like five, five minutes. Is that right? Six minutes? Jeepers creepers. And then the, uh, <laughs> the raiding cavalry coming over here to try and take down these villages. As Eric's over here on this wood line. More units coming in. We've got a forward hill fort down here for Eric as well as he... Sorry, for Soup as well as he's going to try and continue to push in. Bosaw coming in. Fortified town centers for Soup as well. These battle... They're almost half HP. Probably time to pull them off. Get them in and helping uh, in this fight. The army here getting sniped down. The Toxodes come in and they are completely decimating these throwing axemen at this point. And, oh, Eric taps out. GG! I think he has pushed off this gold mine having zero gold in the bank and he didn't want to continue. The walls all getting thrown up as well by Soup. Puts all of the pressure, really, really strong uh, pressure here from Soup all over the map. Nice play. Very, very good. And it's... At the end of the day, it didn't matter really that Soup wasn't able to wasn't able to win the game off of that flaming weapons because Eric didn't secure himself this gold mine. Couple walls here, and then he's probably okay for a little bit. Um, he can build some heroes over here and deal with this, but the battle ball raids are strong. And well, Eric's even got a gold mine over here. I don't think he's really as far behind as the score indicates. This is one of those situations where Flaming Weapons boosted the score up more than you might think, and then the Myth Units come out and they boost the score up more than you might think because one Myth Unit is worth a lot more score than it is actually worth. Uh, and really all Eric has to do is deal with those Myth Units and he's completely fine. So I think there's maybe a touch of an early tap out here from Eric, but nonetheless, Soup gets the dub. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the uh, follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next game.